Marks again, and I'm gonna do another art video thing. Um, today I did an ocelot, which is a kind of wildcat that actually is in Arizona and Texas a little bit, and also in Central and South America, I believe. Pretty sure that's what the wildcat said. But it, I have all of the pen and ink and the sketch and the watercolor and it's in four different parts and I'm going to be voiceovering those things and so yeah, I'll probably just do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go again. I've never actually drawn an ocelot before or any wildcat, so this is a big experiment for me, but I have a couple reference photos and I'm kind of just using those and going along with that. And so it ends up not looking very good at the beginning. See, it looks very fat there. Um, and I couldn't see that from the angle I was at, but yeah, um, I go in and it kind of looks like a cougar until I start putting in these markings and they have very specific markings that are very long and flowy spots and then that flow into kind of long lines and they intimidated me at first and then I was like, eh, this isn't so bad. Um, I don't know how good of a job I did. I think for my first time ever drawing an ocelot and then painting it and stuff, I did pretty good and then... I have to eat dinner for a second um, <laughs> and I come back and I'm just lining it so I can trace it with a light pad and do that. So that's pretty much all I did. It looks so easy but it took like an hour but yeah, yeah. Okay so this is the second part and I had to take it out of the sketchbook to get it all right and so that was kind of sad but I use a light pad to trace onto watercolor paper because I don't actually like drawing on it because it's like my final draft um, and so I'm just tracing that with a uh, Sakura pen I'm pretty sure um, and this was actually gonna be three parts I was gonna do you know the sketch the pen and ink and then the watercolor but it ended up taking so long to do those dark parts um oh and I had to draw that um that it ended up being four parts um because I don't like doing all of it at the same time a because it takes a long time and I get tired and b because in case I lose the footage I still want to have something um and I experiment with brush pen and then end up going back to the pen and then go ba back to the brush pen because it didn't take as long. And then I thought that since it was ink, that when it dried it would smear when I when I went to the do watercolor, if that makes sense. But that was a stupid thought because if I go, uh, the Sakura pens are just dried ink and I've been over them a million times and so it would have been way faster if I just did the brush pen, but I don't know, I was too scared. Uh, but you can see a lot more of the ocelot when it gets to here. Um, there's no whiskers or anything yet, so it kind of looks weird, but I think it helps give you a better idea of what it is. Okay, so this is all the dots, which is just using the pen and ink shading method of stippling, which is my preferred method because I don't do very good stuff with the rest of it, and I've mostly just practice that I guess and so there's a lot of dots involved and it took many many hours and enough to make me wonder why on earth am I doing this um but uh for a lot of the muscles on the legs I was experimenting where the darks went and where the lights went because I've only done a few things with that so it's a lot of experimenting and I don't know if I got it right um, but f for a lot of the mistakes I made I'm like I'll just fix it with the watercolor the watercolor will make everything better because for me that does help a lot because I can use that way better than the millions of tiny little dots and the insides of these spots on the ocelot are darker and so I think it helps to see that a lot when I put in all of these uh, stippling dots, um, even if it takes 
a long time and by the end I didn't even do any dots on the tail because I was just so tired and so done but that's kind of it so no whiskers still or the ear but okay in my opinion the watercolor is the best part I think it really made it come together more and gives it a lot more value um, I tried going for this tan color and because that's what my reference photos kind of showed I don't really know if I got it right but I really liked how it turned out and I'm just trying to figure out how to shade everything and the I don't I'm not really used to doing this kind of thing so again it's a lot of experimenting um, but I really liked how it ended up turning out I don't know if you know it's accurate um, but I went with what I had on my reference photos um, and I ended up making the eyes green because um, I was sick of using yellow um, so I'm sorry if people get super technical about the eyes but I really liked them green and there's these white markings around their eyes and I just I don't know, my, one of my biggest mistakes was lining them with the uh, liner, and so you can't see it, so I ended up going over them with uh, white, with bleed proof white right there, and I think that helped it a lot, but yeah. Thank you for watching my Ecto the Ocelot video. I really enjoy doing art, and even though I'm not the best at it and I make a lot of mistakes, I really enjoy experimenting and trying something new every time that I do it. And I love sharing my art, and even though, you know, it's not the greatest, and I think art is a great way to express yourself, and that's kind of it. I thank you for watching it, and I don't know, maybe go and try some art stuff if you want. but. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do something else. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna go and do something else, so... Bye! <laughs>